and I think we go back to the podium to deliver your final speech. So there's a consensus in this debate that we should the uh, inter interpretation of Jesus, interpretation of Bible should be free and open to everyone, everyone. And we agree. But we think in order for their like model to stand, they have to prove to us why this notion of the white uh, notion of the white Jesus is so dominant that even it in, even intrudes the churches of the people living in African country, it even intrudes the churches, even forces that for example Asian people to have a white guy's picture inside the churches. But we don't see any in, sort of intrusion in, under the status quo, right? They have their own Asian type of view. Jesus, we've already told you loads and loads of examples. So the model that we rather support here is that we ra rather want Yes, we are happy to have free like sorts of interpretation, but we want to, these people to live separately, have separate choice churches, so that they can pursue their own beliefs in a different sorts of way. They, the, if the white people want to assimilate themselves with the white Jesus, they have to go to the, the church that had those pictures and pray there, and the Asian people want to go there and go to that church. And that kind of like differentiation is much better than their pattern, which forces, for example, the white people to look at these Asian Jesus every day they go to the church because that's an huge intrusion that that confuses them in a that makes huge confusion and huge in a sense of intrusion inside them. We are extremely happy to oppose. So basically, I would like to um, uh, talk about sorry <coughs> uh, three things in my speech. Firstly, like which paradigm is better in terms of like keeping the free interpretation. Of, the, of these people, and second of all, I like to talk about how this is going to exaggerate or either like uh, the benefit um, uh, comes down the racist groups thing. And thirdly, I like to talk about how this is going to affect the inclusiveness of the church, uh, the Catholic churches. So on to the first point in terms of the religious beliefs. So I've already told you a lot in the introduction, but I would like to further enhance it by saying like because for like churches, like uh, churches are extremely somewhere it's, that is extremely important for these people to go where they go on a weekly basis. We think that their emotion is rather going to intrude their sense, uh, their sense of belief hugely. But under our part, we think the separate like separate types of churches that are, or occur and separate beliefs can sustain and coexist together. We think our product. Is, is much better in terms of keeping the religious beliefs of the individual and opening up the interpretation to the free, uh, to everyone. And moving on to the second issue about the racist group issue. So the main problem coming from the government bench was about how like this like um, image, uh, this notion of the white uh, white Jesus is used as uh, like a rhetoric and as you know, uh, as um, to mean for them to oppress these minorities, or, uh, like racial minorities or black people. But we proved to you how this is a, like rather in the status quo, they may like okay verbally abuse it, even if they verbally abuse it. We think that their problem is much worse because we think that there's going to be much more incentive for them to harm, the, for example, black, black people because of the sense of intrusion that we have already explained. And also, the harm is not like the harm caused is not limited to these extremists. Why we with and I already told you how the more people are likely to be antagonized by being forced to see what you don't actually want to see under their model, right? That is going to lose the lose the support, for example, for these ethnic minorities, or lose the support, for example, of the people coming from the developing countries, which is going to reduce the inclusiveness of the entire Catholic Church. So we think that these, the today's government, uh, today's government bent didn't prove to us that although they set this goal of opening up to free interpretation, they didn't prove to us how this is actually going to occur. And moreover, they didn't actually oppose this motion because this motion is about like whether or not we should accept this concept that uh, we should allow this concept that the white Jesus actually exists or not. We think that therefore our side has to win this debate. Thank you.